are going to be here. God willing, by the grace of the Lord, you are going to fast on Friday in the evening. We are going to provide something to break with for us here. And then on Saturday, we all are going to be here. In the evening time, we all are going to break together. But on Sunday, there's going to be double dose. Shall we put our hands together to say thank you to Jesus? Now, what does this translate to? Number one, plan to attend is key for you to be present. Number two, you will also need to invite your friends. During that period of time, a lot of ups and downs and all. Why don't you use it at the presence of the Lord? Believers don't celebrate Easter. It is the resurrection of Jesus Christ that took place during Easter time that we mark during that time. And that is why you must come to sharpen and resharpen yourself spiritually. Your news will be the next beautiful news. If you believe, can you respond by saying, Elijah, Amen. Now, the last one before we go inside. Whatever you hear that is happening here is an act of the Holy Spirit. And you must be sensitive enough to understand the moves of God. Until when you recognize the supremacy of the Holy Spirit, color will be difficult for a blind man. There are quite a number of things that the Lord has been doing in this place. Great and fantastic testimonies have been rolling out in this place. He only listened to two today. There was another story of a particular boy who did elect, elect at the university. Electrical electronics. He had first class at the university. He, he went to the to do his service and then he came back. The moment he entered back into the house. And he entered into the room, he no longer come out. He wasn't physically sick. You only find that room too beautiful to come out from the place. One month, two months, three months. He was inside that room. When we were invited to the place, the whole family was sad. Everything was not giving joy to them. And that very day, I knew what it takes to really have not a good time. I met a young man inside the room. 
As soon as he saw me, he said, Pastor, good to see you. Ah, didn't you see that this room is a beautiful room? I said, yes, I see. The whole place was like a rat house. He didn't go out of the room for over three months. And he said, a beautiful room. And then I told him, I said, you are going to follow me to sitting room. He said, no, how can I leave this place and then go to sitting room? No. I said, your dad, your mom, your siblings, they are all there. Why don't you come out and let us be there? I said, no. Then I said, in the name of Jesus, follow me. So he now followed me to the place. No sooner the father saw the son, it was a different story all entirely. The mom was already so, sobbing with tears. And then at the end of the day, he just looked at the father, looked at the mother, looked at everyone around the and he sat down on his own, aloof from others. So I told him, I said, um, on Tuesday, you are going to follow me to camp. When it was Tuesday, I went to the house and said, Pastor, I respected you. That was why I came out to. I don't, I'm not going out again. I said, this time you are going to come out finally and fully. All his siblings, they abandoned work. They didn't go to office that day. So by the time he was called out of the room, sat down at the sitting room and I told him okay let's go to success camp so he followed me we enter into the vehicle food he doesn't eat all his siblings have parked their cars strategically on the road so that as soon as we move they will follow us at the back by the time we moved and we are coming I asked the young man what would you like to eat I love gala and so we have to call those who are selling gala apart from gala what would you like I said, point at anything you wanted he did it, he bought it inside the car. While we were coming, all these younger ones and the elder ones, they were all coming, following us along with the father and mother at the back. The father crying, the mother crying, everybody sad. So by the time we enter into the camp, instead of them to drive also to follow us to the camp they had to park at the express route to ensure that we have already come inside and we enter into the office before they drive inside as soon as we came inside the compound the Lord spoke to me and said let him go and sleep not to your office let him go and sleep so we drove straight to where he will sleep and then he entered into the room and then he slept off. So the siblings and the parents, they also came inside. They came into the compound. 
The father said something I will never forget. See, it is one of the most frustrating things for a father to see the son is sponsored in this condition. I'm also a prayer warrior. But if God has laid the salvation of our family to your hand, Pastor, please go ahead. He was not just saying he was saying it, he was crying. And the siblings also came up, all of them in the office. So when are you going to pray for him? How are you going to make the arrangement? I said, I've never had anything about praying for him. Everybody was here from morning till towards late in the afternoon. So we went to him and then he woke up. He asked himself, where am I? I said, you are in success camp. We, we were walking around and he saw the parent, greeted the parent, greeted the siblings, and greeted everybody. Without a single prayer for him, he became well. Almightiness of God intervened in the matter. After a few weeks, he traveled to England for his masters. He's been back doing wonderfully in Nigeria as we speak. All glory goes back to Jesus forever. Understand what I'm telling you today. Those who honor me, I will honor. Can we rise up on our feet? That the honor of God will locate your efforts. That you will never run this year without a honor. When honor of God being good with your effort, there is an elimination of whatever that is called struggle. Water never struggles to flow. This is the time for you to enter into your fullness. Do you believe God will do that for you? The Lord will do it. I said the Lord will do it. He who did those testimonies who listen to today. Honestly, I have never, never seen that picture of apostle before. I have never seen it. I only saw it here. Meaning that God marks the hearts of people. If your matter is as worst as that, you will still have your living testimony. I never knew the story around the system of his body. He who created us said, call him to come. I will back him up. And those who are watching from outside the country since that time, they've been calling and calling and calling. Some of them are still watching as we speak. From the, from the US, from the UK, from so many other places, they have been calling and calling. Even today or yesterday, they also call and say, Will the man be able to speak for us to hear him? 
When honor of God arrives into your life, people want to hear you. You are going to ask that the Lord Almighty will give you his honor. He will honor your life so that you will not be an empty person. 2022 in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth my honor returned to me full honor of my family returned back to me some people have been spiritually expelled they have been pushed away from the place of their dignity but you are going to call your honor to return back to you my honor wherever you are arise and move in my direction honor that God has ordained for my life you are going to pray in a dimension away from the dimension you are praying pray in understanding and pray in the spirit because the one who held down your honor Honor does not want your honor to reach out to you. It's not an ordinary thing for a whole man to be made paralyzed for two years. Doing tests for hundreds of thousands and always under one manipulation or the other. How long do you want to carry your problem again, madam? When will you learn to see Jesus as the final solution? You are going to call your honor to meet you where you are. My honor, don't remain in captivity. Escape and move in my direction. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. Honor of my life. Don't stay in the prison. In the name of Jesus Christ, escape and move in my direction. I believe you are not closing your mouth. My faith is that whatever you are asking the Lord, he will answer. God is a God of wonders. The Lord is not going to let you down. You are going to pray that the mercies of God will locate you. He will do that in your honor. In Jesus' regular name, we have prayed. Amen. In Genesis chapter 18, verse 14, there is something you must need not to forget. When God decided to visit the woman who had a delay for so long, and met the husband and said, Is there anything too hard for the Lord? At the time appointed, I will return unto you according to the time of life. And Sarah shall have a son. There is what is called time of life. Time of life. Time of life. You are going to lift your two hands up to heaven. The kidnappers of time will never succeed over it. They will not kidnap my time of life. 
They will not kill my time of life. Open your mouth and cry to the Lord. Rescue my time of life from killers. Rescue the time of my life from destroyers. Rescue the time of my ministry from killers. Rescue the time of my family from killers. Open your mouth and be sure you are praying. There is what is called the time of life. He said, according to the time of life, Sarah will have a son. Oh Lord, protect my time of life. Time of life must not be time of my suffering. Time of my life must not be the time of my downfall. Open your mouth and speak the word. Time of life is crucial. If God must return unto you, it must be according to the time of life. If the devil corrupt your time of life, you are in trouble. If the devil heed the time of your life and cover your time of life, you are in trouble. And there are some people here who want their time of life delivered. Cry unto the Lord. Oh Lord, let the time of my life be delivered from those who are out to rubbish it. Oh Lord, let the time of my life be delivered from mysterious creatures. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will answer. Glory to God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Are you saying amen to that? Amen. Come and join me, sing hallelujah. Oh, Lori, I is me, did Come and join me, sing hallelujah. Jehovah, lo, sorrow, me, die, Come and join me. Come and join me, sing hallelujah. Jehovah, lo, sorrow, me, die, Come and join me. Come and join me, sing Sing it loud and clear. Oh, glory, I am sorrow, me, die, Sorrow, me die. Come and sing, oh, 
of your testimony today. Are you saying a living amen to that? The Lord says, I should tell you, he has appointed this time to turn your story around. You are in the midst of God's people. Now, if you listen with your two ears, with an investigative hearing, you will have discovered that Jesus need no committee to work his miracles. You are going to ask for miracles that require no committee. That the Lord will make it to visit your life. Miracle that does not re require any meeting. Lord, let it happen in my story this very month. This very year. To the glory of God the Father. To the glory of God the Son. To the glory of God the Holy Spirit. Let that miracle occur in my life. So that my time that I've been lost will be able to gain back the strength in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Glory be to the name of the Lord forever and forever. Forever and forever. In Jesus' decent name, we have prayed. Help me to pray for the person by your side. By declaring that from today, all your wasted time will be restored. All your wasted opportunity will be restored. Help me to prophesy upon that person that in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord will restore your life back. Oh, someness of God will be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord will do a great thing in your life that will stun the enemy of your story and you will come back with a life testimony in the name of God the Father in the name of God the Son in the name of God the Holy Spirit thank you Father in Jesus happiest name we pray Amen. Zachariah 4 verse 10 says Zachariah 4 10 who has despised the day of small things meaning that don't belittle small beginning that small thing shall bring rejoicing what is that one saying pastor small thing that hold my jaw I command you to multiply. Small thing that is holding my progress. Multiply. I prophesy upon your life. Can you begin to declare small thing in your family that is holding your job that they will multiply in the name of Jesus Christ. Small thing that is holding your joy. Let it increase. Are you praying at all? Are you talking at all? There is a small awareness 
Small clue into your life. Small opportunity in your story. In the name of Jesus, you will bring joy to me. You will bring joy to my family. You will bring joy to my business. Are you praying at all? Why are you despising the day of small beginning? Every great thing started off small. Anything that started big, they ended up small. Every good thing started small. Every small thing that is in my life. Holding the, the, the sway for good. I command you to multiply. In the name of Jesus, multiply. Are you praying? The Lord is doing it. Glory to God. In Jesus' blessed name, we have prayed. Amen. passes human expression. Thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. You are fully and solidly behind us. There is nothing that gives life joy than to be sure God is behind you. I'm praying this very hour. Full light from celestial realm. The light of God from the heavenlies. Let it be shed down upon everyone. Breaking the chain of ignorance and foolishness. Strengthening our faith and holding us strong. I pray by the time we are done here today, our testimony will be solid enough. Because the chemistry of our body will have been healed. The geography of our standing will have been delivered. And the history of our journey will have been corrected. Thank you for answering our prayers. Let the angels of God go and do the work of deliverance. Removing every satanic hold up. Every satanic material disappearing, and the word of light enter into the spirit of everyone, and you will wake up in the morning to discover Almighty God has done great things for you. Thank you, you have answered our prayers. I see another individual who is holding God's testimony. 
Why should you need to shut your mouth? Are you saying God is wrong doing that great thing for you? Father, please forgive them. Do not count this as sin to them. Give them understanding that the reason why you do miracles in the life of people is for to be able to encourage those who are, who are weak. When after you have done what you need to do and that person is seated upon it, that is ingrate. Almighty God, please do wonders here today. That will make the faith of those who are feeble to be strong. Thank you. We know you have answered. Glory be to the name of our God. In Jesus' beautiful name, we have prayed. Can we put our two living hands together to say thank you to Jesus? Amen and amen. amen. God bless you. You may be seated. We had listened carefully from the first wing of that information recovering my lost time. That was a beautiful, wonderful presentation from the word of God. Telling us that some incubation time may look like a lost time. Because no matter how spiritually inclined you may be, you may be very prayerful and fire is coming from your forehead. And the smoke is coming from your nostrils. If you are pregnant, it will reach nine months. Unless you want to deliver premature. Some researchers have also told us. They say an elephant is um, pregnant. We are always pregnant for about three years. Well, I've never done research. I don't know to what extent that can be. And they also said that among the most intelligent animal, elephant come up to be at the foremost. All of these are researches. Now, the food that elephant will eat once and can never eat it throughout the whole lifetime. What we are talking about here is time. Which has to do with a portion of life that does not wait for anybody. A cry has been the mouth of a lot of people. Bitter one for that matter. Today, say, I lost my time. He wasted my time. She wasted my time. And this noise has been on for years. And from the information we are told at the first presentation, 
You better check up if it's not the period of your incubation. During the time of your incubation, there is nothing you do until that time is ready before you are ready. Some people conducted a research on butterfly. When they saw the struggle that butterfly normally engages itself before it come up to fly. They noticed that it will first of all engage the neck. And that one will start walking and start beating and start walking like that until the thing will come out and fly high. And the researcher now moved nearer the cocoon. And took razor blade and cut the mouth big. So that it will not need to struggle at all, just come out. But it was discovered that as another one will come up, instead of engaging, the thing come out, the thing fall down, bam, no energy to fly. So the researcher now knows that struggle is part of the training. So removing that struggle away from that um, caterpillar that is developing to butterfly, if you remove that suffering away from it, you have taken life away from it. It can't fly. And there are some that we cause for ourselves. Just like it was said in the first presentation. Like the prodigal son of parable. He created it for himself and the thing hit him directly on his face. But that's not all it takes on the lost time. There is what is called satanically induced lost time. And a lot of people have been crying 10 years, 30 years, 50 years. My time is lost and I know it. My time is lost and my friend knows it. My time is lost. My family knows it. And I know what was responsible. John chapter 10 verse 10. He said the thief cometh not but of photo steal. Time of some people have been stolen. Time of some people have been destroyed. There is a time ki killers. There are time kidnappers. But that is not the end of your story. This very day the Lord is showing a new light unto you. You have screamed all around. My time is lost and I know it. My people knows it. Effect of this is everywhere in my story. Lord, is there anything you can do for me? The Lord said there's miracle for your lost time. Nothing is more painful than to feel your time is lost. But I'm out to tell you this today. When you are talking about time, you are talking about the creation 
creation of God. God created time. But it does not stay in time. God creates season. But it does not stay in season. He stayed away from time. He had the capacity of entering into your past. And he can enter into your future. When you are talking about your time, what exactly are you talking about? If you travel out of your country and you are to cross into the mer mer meridian line, you will discover the time at the place where you are will be different from the time of the place of your departure and the place of arrival the time at the place of arrival is also different I have a special news to those who are hearing me either local or international Abraham felt he was delayed he had delay in childbirth and distraction from Lord his nephew that was what he counted to be a lost time are you the Abraham of our time wait a minute I tell you something you need to know Joseph's dream led him uh, let his brother to have trouble with him. He was sold to Potiphar's house. He was jailed unjustly. He was forgotten by those who should remember him. If you remember the life of Joseph, he will tell you, I have a lost time. Are you the Joseph? Are you the Josephine? Screaming that you have lost your timing. I have a good news for you today. Where is that Mr. Job? Job that had hurricane of trouble. That was coming on rapid succession. When his plane, um, oxen was um, destroyed and the ship was destroyed, his servant was consumed. The Chaldean attacked the camel. Sudden death came upon his um, young man. All his wealth seems to have flew away. And he looked at himself. He, he placed a curse on the day he was born. Why was he doing what he was doing? He felt his time was lost. Where is that Mr. Job that is hearing me now? There is a pleasant news about your timing. Another king, Jehoiakim, the king of Judah, he was in prison for 30 years. In 2 King 25, all the hope of freedom was lost away from him. Everything was dull, dark, and discouraging. If you ask from King Jehoiakim, he will tell you that his time is wasted. Jezebel has wasted the blood of God's people. The prophet and the servant of the most high God were killed. And it was like a waste of time. There is a news for you today you will not be wasted. An unnamed man in Acts of Apostles chapter 3. He had an ugly condition at a beautiful gate. 
He was only depending upon those who will carry him to the beautiful gate. An ugly man at a beautiful gate. And you will wonder, is this one not a wasted time? I don't know those who are born lame. They can't do anything and come out brilliant. And you see your life as a lost time. The Lord is still saying today, it is not over yet. Your story will be revisited. What you never believe you can do in a lifetime against the frequency of time and season. The Lord who sent me a message says, I should tell you, you are getting your dream fulfilled. Those who have run ahead of you, you are going to double cross them and gap them. Am I hearing a life amen to that? Those who believe you are nonsense. The Lord will break the none away from you. You are going to be making senses. You deserve your time back. Your time must be back. Your season must be back. The Lord is not living in time. You may not see how you could get to where you want to be. You may believe that you have come to the final bus stop. I am out to announce unto you. God knows how to make up for your lost time. Your lost time is in the hand of Yahweh. Your lost time is the hand of Messiah. No wonder one of the musical maestro has that song he composed it. And he said it in Yoruba language. He said, that is a matter of time. I must call mu eda. Inability to to glory apata ti Jesu ni moa. Ogun aye kan ko le ba mi le ruma. Moti ma wi pe to lo alase. Oti wo ti wo glory apata. That, 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 that is the grace of God that will see him. Come. What is that one saying? He is not controlling time and season. He is the one who is the one who controls time and season. If he likes, he can make the poor man to be a king. He can lift up the poor out of the dung hill and make him to sit with the princess. At the switch of a time, your story can change. A single phone call can change your story forever. Stop looking down on yourself. Things you think is not working may be a disguise on the part of God. God may be masking you so that you can arrive at where you are going without no in much interruption. Your testimony is not going to end like this. God can accelerate things. He said, I should repeat that to you. God can accelerate things. He can place a leg upon something so that you can move and cover distances you have not been able to cover in 30 years. Hear me and hear me well today. Elohim said through his prophet Joel, I will restore the years 
the seasons, the opportunities, the privileges, I, Elohim, I will return. How will you return? I will go into the time because I don't live in time. I can go into your past and call for opportunity. I can go into your future. Why should I go? I must go because I am the Almighty. Have you not read in the book of um, Daniel? Daniel chapter 2 verse 21 to verse 22. He changes times and seasons. He can remove some things and install some things. He can disorganize some things so he can reorganize some things. God can act as a chief disorganizer. If he knows that the next person in line is you, he can disorganize the entire nation to make one man to step to the front. He did it in the case of Joseph before. Joseph had no family because his family have told him and they gave wrong impression about him to their father. The place where he also went, he has another prison record. But right inside the stomach of Joseph was a palace. He's the one who carry palace inside that will leave the palace outside. There is a palace in you, madam. You can never die like that. There is a palace in you, sir. Says I should tell you, your lost time will be a recovered time. Miracle will hit your timing. Miracle will hit your season. In the name of Jesus Christ, your path, your opportunity that you have missed, it will push you years ahead. Achievement that will not require much struggle. The Lord said, I should announce it for you. He said, You are going to achieve it. That when you look at it, you will not believe you are the one achieving it. It may not have happened for the first time. But God will give you another chance. The Lord says, I should make you to hear that very clearly. You miss one opportunity before He will give you another chance. Are you saying amen to that? He says, I should tell you, He will make up for the lost time in your matter and bring you out better and stronger than you can ever imagine. Look away from the environment you are. God is a God who can do anything. Have you not read in the scriptures? It, when the Bible talks there in the book of Psalm 62, God has spoken once. Twice have I heard it. That power belongs unto God. The power to transform you to where you are going. Is in the hand of God. Leave mockers alone. Leave jesters alone. Let all the witches in your lineage gather themselves together. When the great clock of time points at the hour, no Nebuchadnezzar can stop you. 
That's a story of one of our friends. It's one of the people that we normally pray together here. A minister of the gospel. Full of the fire and love of God. He just discovered that for him to travel out was a problem. Everywhere he went, bam. And that was the story. He didn't know it was one of the jealous ministers of the gospel that secretly wrote letter to the embassy against him. And he did not know at all. But when God was ready, Almighty went to the topmost of the society. His friend now decided to take up on him. When he put up the something to be able to travel, they said no, they are not confident he was not, he was not going to come back. So the friend placed everything he needed to place down. So at the end of the day, guess what happened? He got an opportunity, he traveled. By the time he appeared before the one who wrote the letter, he didn't even know the letter was written against him. So he arrived at the place, everybody was greeting, everybody was excited and all. He noticed his old time friend, that one was not so free with him. When he went to him and said, My friend, are you not happy I'm here? Good to see your face. You know, no, I, said, I will confess my sins to you. I didn't know what came upon me. I was the one who blocked your way all these years. As we speak presently, that person is a citizen of America as we speak. Never ever believe anybody can stop you. You are unstoppable. God knows what to do on your matter. If I ask who give me the list of your opposition, you may not necessarily even know any of them. When you say, give me the list of your friends, among the list you are likely to give, maybe somebody who is bitter about you without you knowing and you call him your friend. Your time is lost. The Lord says, I should tell you, cancel that, your time is not lost. Because pains and challenges and disappointment, they are the school God uses in building character in us. Except you don't want to grow. And you can find inspiration in other people. But determination is solely your own responsibility. If you determine you are not going to allow your condition to continue. Let me give you a little key for you to be able to walk upon. Your imagination is the way you travel in the spirit. When you imagine something, you already traveled. If you focus upon that thing you are you are seeing in your mind, as a man thinks, that is his picture. Now, the thought in your mind is your words. The word you are speaking. Now, this language I'm communicating with you is only you can hear it, but in the realm of the spirit, 
what is going on in your heart is what God listens to. God plays priority upon what goes on in your mind. If in your mind you are saying in the name of Jesus, I won't die this way. Miracle will occur on my matter. Either locally or internationally. When you dwell in that level of thought, you are pulling that miracle in your direction. And by the time that thing clicks, my brother, you will dance without a drummer. Never regret a day in your life. Never ever regret a day in your life. Because a good day will give you happiness. A bad day will give you experience. Worst days will give you lessons. Best days of your life will give you memory. There is no room for you to regret. You do good to people and they reply with evil. Leave them. Do not allow any regret in your mind. Your mis the mistake you think you had is a part of the story. Did you know that error times error times error in the dictionary of God can be excellent? And I decree from here in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, as many of you who have screamed that your time is lost, the Lord restore your timing. Are you saying amen to that? Are you saying amen to that? Your story is not ending this way. Believe me most sincerely. What you are today will make you stronger for your tomorrow. My sister, hold on to faith. Stand strong in God. Believe in the Lord. You will smile again. My brother, regardless of whatever situation around you, never see yourself a victim. You are not a victim, you remain a victor. Somebody came to me one time and said, Pastor, I make up my mind I'm not going to help nobody again. I said, what happened to you? She narrated the, the story. Very pathetic. Very, very pathetic. But as pathetic as the story was, if you are a part with the problem, you cannot solve it. So you must be apart from the problem. And I told the woman, I said, only one question for you. Can you tell me the last person you are going to help that is going to change your story forever? I don't know. So that is why you must keep on doing good. As if I knew what was going to happen. The one that he did a little help for was the one that pulled her 
and she became a superstar. Let me pray and prophesy upon someone. You have sown so much into the life of people nobody is sowing to your life. I decree from here your regret time are over. God will make up for your lost time. Are you saying amen to that? Amen. He will make up for you the same way he made up for patriarchs and prophets. He did it for men and women of ordinary situation like you and myself. For Abraham, he visited him. God will visit you. For Job, God answered him and multiply what he had. In the name of Jesus Christ, multiplication is for you this year. Are you saying amen to that? Jehoiakim, Jehoiakim, he was in the prison for 30 years. Nobody was proud to be identified with him. But towards the end of December, even Merodiak, Evil Merodiak, the one who tie evil along with his name. Who can God not use? Even those who cannot help other people. When it comes to your story, they will help you. That was how evil Merodiak restored him. And all his benefits over the years, when you get back home and read Second Kings chapter twenty-five, from verse twenty-seven to verse thirty, ugly man at the beautiful gate became beautiful. An ugly man at a beautiful gate. The Lord made him beautiful. He now became a beautiful man at a beautiful gate. My brother, get ready. Your beauty is to show forth. My sister, get ready. Your beauty will show forth. The beautiful get to find yourself the Lord brought you there you can't die an ugly man at a beautiful gate you know what God is saying to you your best is yet to come how will it happen Revelation 3 verse 18 Revelation chapter 3 verse 18 tells you what will happen. He says you are to buy from him. I can't say buy from me. Gold. Buy gold from me. Buy gold from me. Buy gold. 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 Uh -huh. Gold. Gold. Buy gold from me. You know what I want to say? He said, be rich in what I'm telling you. And also your white dress. So that you can be covered from your nakedness. What does the white dress, white raiment means? Be, be honest. Be godly. Forgive people not because of them but because of yourself. Be godly not because of them but because of yourself. He said, Anoint your eyes with eyes out so you may see. Because life is difficult for the blind. Those who look at you and they say you can never become anything important, they are, they are just blind. 
Just thank them and tell them life is difficult for the blind. I'm saying something to someone here today. You are not going to lose out. I dis disclose unto you today that it is possible you are not losing time. In the name of Jesus, you are not losing time. According to the time of life, great impossibility become possible to you. Madam, you deserve a restoration. Sir, you deserve a restoration. God is the ultimate restorer. You may have been held down by sickness. You may have been held down by wickedness. But today, miracles flows in your way. Can we rise up on our feet? We say, Lord, I need that miracle. I need that miracle. That was what Abraham had. He waited for the Isaac for so long. And God said, go and sacrifice that boy for me. He was willing to obey until he got to Genesis 22 verse 13. He saw a ram caught in a ticket. You are not going to die. You are going to have a substitute. Lift your two hands up to heaven. You say, Lord, I recover today by the power of the Holy Spirit. I recover my business today by the power of the Holy Spirit. I recover my, my family today by the power of the Holy Spirit. I recover my ministry today. Decree and declare I recover all my helpers have been scattered. I recover you today. In the name of Jesus Christ, I am not losing time. I am gaining time. I am not losing time. I am gaining time. I am not losing time. I am gaining time. My time, my time return. Prophesy that from today, you will get things right. Whatever it is that push you into wrong timing, let them be abandoned to abandon you and move away from your life. That in the name of Jesus Christ, I hereby decree that all the power that is making my days of miracle to be delayed the Lord rebuke you the Lord rebuke you whatever is deferring the time of my joy the Lord rebuke you in the name of Jesus angel of God at work they are working already. Whatever you cannot do before, start doing them now. This is the hour. This is the season. Move your bodies and declare healing for yourself. Declare freedom for yourself. Declare open door for yourself. Whatever it is that has been impossible for your lineage, declare them to be possible. Every error of your progenitor that is looking for accommodation in your life, let them miss your life. Are you moving your body? Are you exercising your legs? Declare in the name of Jesus, I gave my time back. I gave my seasons back. 
I gain my restoration in the name of the Lord of hosts. My time will not be missing. God is entering to my timing. God is empowering my timing. God is restoring my glory. God is restoring my progress. Are you declaring the angels of the... Yes, that's it. God has started a great work again. The light of God has begun again. Those who honor me, I will honor. I decree in the name of Jesus, angel that is bringing the honor of God. Let them move in your direction. Can I hear a living amen to that? Angel that is bringing dignity. Let them move in your direction. Can I hear a living amen? Abraham, I declare for you. You are going to father nations. Can I hear a roaring amen? Jehoiakim. Who have been caged in the prison. Unusual people liberate you today. Can I hear a live amen to that? Amen. Mr. Job. The devil batter you on all sides. Thinking you will never sing again. Thinking you will never shine again. Good news for you. Restoration beginning from today. Can I hear a amen with your clapping of hand? The Lord is restoring you massively. The Lord is restoring you massively. Where is that man who was born lame? You are lame in achievement. You are lame in vision. You are lame in choices. You are lame in every area of your life. Good news. Good news. Even though you are ugly at a beautiful gate, beautiful power is here to receive, to release you to beauty. Let every lameness in you be exchanged for good health. Can I hear amen with your clapping of your hand? Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Where is Mr. Jabez? Everything around you is backwardness and sorrow. The book of remembrance is open. Mr. Jabez receive double honor now. Receive double honor now. Can I hear amen with your two hands clapping to the glory of the Lord? Glory to God. Jabez, you are free. In the name of God the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Where is Sister Ruth? Where is Sister Ruth? Disaster singled you out. At the early age of your life, darkness covered your life as if you will never smile again. Your only choice was to follow Naomi. And you decided not to look sideways. Good news for Ruth. Any Ruth that is here. I hereby declare. The same power that backed up Ruth in a day. Let that power back you up today in the name of Jesus. Can I hear a roaring amen to that? Amen. Put your hands 
together to the glory of Jesus. Amen. Amen. You have the testimony of that woman who was cured of cancer. Cancer is not a friendly sickness at all. She knew the next thing around her is death and decay. She knew there was no money that she can use. Even those who have money are dying of cancer. And that woman came before the altar of the Lord. She spoke in the bitterness of her heart. The great Elohim answered. Elohim is here. As many who have deadly diseases on their bodies. As many people who have satanic sickness in their bodies. I decree from this altar. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Put your hands together. The healer is here. Put your hands together. The healer is here. Your blood is healed. Your bones are healed. Your brain is healed. Your legs is healed. Your hands is healed. Your eyes is healed. Your mouth is healed. Your spinal cord is healed. Can you put your hands together to the glory of Jesus? The Lord is doing a great job. Great, great job. Right from today, in the name of Jesus Christ, when the Lord is done with you, gaps you have gone through in life will not be remembered again. The process God is taking you through, when you are done with that process, you will sing again. You will scream again. You will dance again. You will glorify God again. Everyone all across the world that is listening to me now. The power of the mighty God of Jacob. Extend to the country of your residence. Extend to the country of your stay. And heal your businesses. And heal your diseases. And heal your families. And heal your ministries. And heal your helpers. Right from now. Good news. Did you hear what I said? Did you hear what I said? I said good news. Are you capturing the vision? I said good news. I said great news. I said powerful news. Do you believe it? Do you trust it? God is with you. God is with you. God is for you. God is around you. Start doing what you cannot do before. Start doing what you cannot do before. The glory of God. The beauty of God. And you must share the testimony. Either in writing or in speech. God has done great work. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Put your hands together. The Lord has answered the prayer. If you believe God has answered your prayer, do that clapping better and better. 
Louder and louder, louder and louder. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. God bless you. Wow. We thank God for tonight. Before we finally close tonight, please, if you have any thing to give for the development of this success camp. The baskets have already been placed in the front here. Please, you can just rise up and come and offer that which you have brought. As, as you are dropping that offering, the Lord mark your hands for blessing in Jesus name. Let's do that quickly. Let's rise up to pray. Father, we thank you for this offering. We pray that you will sanctify it in Jesus' name. And let those who have given today never regret it in Jesus' name. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. I pray for you this very moment. And I prophesy upon your life recovery of all your lost time in the name of Jesus. All your lost opportunities. Go and recover them in the name of Jesus. Let's share the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Surely, His goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Shalom.